to Kate Kate's Fabulous Cooking Show. Today we're making a fabulous cake. What's the volume? We have the length of 12 centimeters, the width of 12 centimeters, and the height of 3 centimeters. To calculate the volume, you have to multiply the length by the width by the height. Pause here to calculate the volume. Okay, so to calculate the volume, it's length times width times height. So the length is 12 centimeters multiplied by 12 centimeters, which is the width, and the height is 3 centimeters. So, if you can't do this in your head like most people can't, you can use your calculator. So it's 12 times 12 times 3, which equals 432. So your volume would be 432 centimeters. There, cute. So your total would be 432 a centimeter cubed. There's your volume. <gasps> okay guys, so to do the surface area, you gotta find out the area of each one. So that's length times width times the amount of size times that rectangle or square appears. So in our case, it's four. So we'll have to do length times width times four for A1. And after that, we do A2, but since we're only frosting the top of the cake, we'll only do it once. But when you're doing this in math class, you gotta do it twice. Okay, so now, we'll add that all together, and I wanna see what you get. So pause the video here, and then resume it after. The answer is 144 centimeters squared. And now, on to A2. So that's just 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. And because we're only going to be frosting the top, you don't have to use the bottom. But if you're doing this in math class, you're going to do it times 2, okay? So we know that that is uh, 144 centimeters squared. Now, surface area is A1 plus A2. Or how many areas you have to do. So, if we add the two totals up, I'll just do it times two to save space. Then we get 288 centimeters squared. Out our equations and now we can frost the cake. So, as we said for the surface area, we're only frosting the top of the cake. <coughs> we got our beautiful cake, I think, or should I say fabulous of pink Iceland. Mm -hmm. So we grab the knife and we put it onto the top of the cake. And since you did the area, or the surface area, for the icing, we're going to be putting some fabulous sprinkles on it. Okay, after we're done frosting, we'll get right back to you. Okay, Michael and I have fabulously decorated this cake. Now it's time for Kyle to fabulously bedazzle sprinkle it. Now for a close up. Explain of what kind of beautiful sparkles are you putting on there? Pure sugar. So it's a purple sugar, isn't it? So fabulous. So fabulous. So fabulous. So fabulous. Oh my goodness. Okay, and now he's gonna pick a different, a fabulous sprinkle. Hmm, which one? Oh my god, get the oh. rainbow ones. Rainbow. Rainbow. These ones? Yes. They're oh my fabulous. Goodness. Fabulous. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> he put a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet mm. you guys are all jealous, hmm? Be jealous. Jealous! Because we get to eat this. 
at the end. But mm -hmm. you know. Which one now? Hmm. Oh my god, put the flower ones on. And then we're going to be totally done bedazzling our fabulous cake. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? Fabulous. Oh my goodness. Don't put Come too on. much in your hands. Oh. Ah. 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 Okay, now so for a little bit more. Because you obviously don't know how to put sprinkles on. Aww. Wow. See, look at this bedazzled sparkleness of beauty. Okay, well, that's our cake of a cooking show mathematicals. We got our volume and surface area of this beautiful cake, and now we're going to eat it. See you later.